A devastating typhoon struck the Philippines last Saturday, September 26. It was the biggest typhoon to hit the country in decades. With the death toll currently placed at 140 people thus far, the Filipino community here in the TCI, along with the help of local residents, are raising money to send to the Philippines for disaster relief. As you have heard maybe in the, in the news, it's the worst typhoon ever hit in the Philippines for the past 40 years. And the worst thing about it is uh, a very um, large amount of uh, rain uh, falling uh, in Metro Manila in just about short time, about six hours. That's why uh, flash flood has been happening all over the place. Uh, there are some places wherein uh, there, there have been no flood in the past 10, 20 years, but uh, after this um, great typhoon, uh, um, places have been plotted for almost from a uh, waistline up to uh, God knows uh, how high it is. After starting out as a tropical storm called Ketsana, it strengthened into a typhoon, and more than 80% of the capital was underwater at one point last Sunday. Concerned about the disaster, Filipinos and residents alike have organized a yard sale. Right now, we have uh, set up a yard sale this coming Saturday, October 3. Uh, it will be held here in the Catholic Church at the parking area. Uh, we're gathering. I know all of us have been uh, affected by crisis financially. We might not be uh, able to, to give something, but uh, definitely uh, there might be something in our house that we're not using and still may be of use by others. So why not donate this item uh, for a cause and then other people might, uh, might need it and buy it. So everything that will be uh, gathered in this uh, yard sale, all the proceeds will be sent to the Philippines. This effort is being put together by a number of concerned citizens in the community who have been working since Tuesday to put together this fundraising event. It's a lot of effort. A lot of uh, uh, Thirst Islanders are also helping us through, through uh, Brother Alex Aguirre. he has been organizing uh, most of this actually uh, behind, behind the scene. But uh, Brother Alex had been contacting a lot of uh, locals um, and other um, businessmen to, to help us in this cause. For those in the Filipino community who may not understand English, Obnamia gave this message. Alam ko sa, sa mga kababayan ko, malayo ta sa Pilipinas, but uh, alam ko na alam nyo rin yung nangyayari sa, sa Pilipinas ngayon. At uh, we are unfortunate na narito tayo sa Turks and Caicos, uh, hindi tayo gaan apektado sa, sa nangyaring baha. Pero um, marami rin tayong mga kamag-anak na apektuhan sa, sa Pilipinas. Uh, through this cause, uh, kahit pa paano makatulong tayo sa kanila. At isa pa alam natin na meron na namang uh, bagyong parating. Uh, I know uh, this will not uh, be an activity just for this Saturday. We might continue this uh, next Saturday. So uh, sabihan din natin yung mga amon natin na, na sana makatulong din sila sa, sa atin. Those persons wishing to donate items to the yard sale may do so at the church located on Leeward Highway at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. For WIV4 News, I'm Allison Capron.